Good afternoon everyone, today we're gonna see how to implement different dead animation. You can do that with every animation that you want, but for this tutorial I'm gonna use dead animation. So I'm gonna show you that now, so I implemented uh, 8 animations, so when they die it's gonna play uh, randomly those animations. See two different animations. You're violent, those little guy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done. So we're gonna need few animation to do this. So we're gonna just uh, go on the Mixamo website, go under your animation, and uh, select eight animation that you need. Uh, well, or the number that you want. So for me, I just decided to take eight. So I downloaded eight of those animation. And you click just here download with the skin or without the skin is as you want for me the y butt uh, skeleton it's already in the unreal project so i don't need to download it with the skin again so i'm just going to take without the skin so you download that and you're going to put that in your unreal project so to put in your Unreal project you just go there for me all my animation or under mixemo animation and i put that under melee so you go to where you download your animation so for me they're here and i'm just going to drag it to my project and as i said i already have the the mesh for that so i'm not going to re-import mesh so i'm just going to uncheck this and i'm going to select my y butt right there and you just do import so you have the animation right there so we're going to click on that as you see here, a majority of them are already completed, but I keep one for you just so I can show. So I'm going to open this one so we can see that's the dead animation. So we're we'll all good with that. So what we need to do with this animation is creating an anim montage. So let's create anim montage and open it. So this is your anim montage and make sure that you remove the enable auto blend out. Uh, if you leave a check, what it's going to do is when your character is going to die uh, after the animation, it's going to stand back up and do a T-pose. We don't want that. We want the enemy to stay on the ground. So just that by unchecking the auto blend, you will uh, fix that issue. And we save that. So you do that for all the animation that you need. Uh, for me, I already did that in advance for all the other um and in montage just to save a little bit of time so when that it's all done we're just going to confirm that in our um, animation for our enemy we do have the um, default slot so we're going to open the animation for our enemy or the animation that you want to implement different animations i'm going to go to um, the graph here and on the graph, after your locomotion from your state machine, just had a default slot. So you can just drag from that and just search default slot. So this will allow us to play some animation montage. If you do not have this, you won't be able to play animation montage. So when that is implemented, it will be all set and good to go. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to the blueprint that we want to implement those animation so for me it's going to be in my enemy base blueprint so i'm going to open that and the code that you see right there is exactly what we have to put so if you follow my fps series i have a dead logic here for my enemy so after the first sequence here i'm just going to implement this so it's very very simple so i'm just going to show you an overview it's already done so i'm not going to redo everything because it's very very simple uh, you're going to create a variable when this variable is created you're going to call it the name that you need uh, for me i did that animation and the type here you have to select any montage so how to do that well here you just search for any montage so any montage and you select that and you click object reference it's gonna do this and here on the side we need to make sure that we select array so it's gonna 
allowed us to put different animation in this. If we leave it as single, it's just going to be one animation. We want to be able to do different animation, so we select array. You're going to have to compile here, and you will be able now to put different animations. So as you see, the first one is empty because I did it on purpose, so I can just show you. So I'm going to click here, and the animontage that we created is the uh, headshot here. So I'm just going to select this. So as you can see now, all the animation are there. So it's going to play that randomly for us. So you take your animation, uh, not your animation, but your variable, you put it there, you drag from it, and you're going to search for get, which will be get copy, this one here. And you just plug it to your uh, new animation play from your animation montage here. And from that, you're going to search for an integer, so a random one. And from the dead anim variable, you're going to search for length. So basically, this is going to go in that variable to search for an animation. And this is going to select a random animation from that variable. And it's going to get that animation for us and it's going to play that animation for us. So that's pretty much what it's doing. So my code is a little bit like this. The enemy die. It's going to go to play an animation of that animation. And it's going to get an animation, but a random animation from that variable that contain my eight different animation. And it's going to play that for us each single time with a different one. So let's try it out. So I'm going to compile and play and it should do exactly what it was doing for us at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to let time to uh, load here. There we go. One animation. All the different animations so that's perfect so that's pretty much how you do that so i'll catch you next one see ya